All right, we are going to use an alpha channel to create a shadow taken from this picture. This, if you're in my ComTech class, you have uh, this picture already loaded, and uh, oh, which is called 06 working, and we have the background uh, erased, and the magazine background is turned off, as well as the model background is also turned off. We are now going to select the area around her. So the first thing that we're going to do on a Mac, hold down the command key, PC control, and click on the thumb layer thumbnail. That's this guy right here. Boom. It selects everything. Very handy little trick. Okay. Now we're going to go up to select and say save selection. And we're going to call this one model outline. All right, so make sure that the channel is set to new. It's not the, the mask. Okay, it's set to new. And we're going to say okay. And what it's done is it saved this selection. If you go over here, so it, you'll notice nothing, nothing has changed except for over here in the channels, you will see that down here we have model outline is now here as part of the channels. You'll also notice that you have your mask here as well. Okay, so what is next? We're going to make a new, well, actually go back to the layers, and we're going to make a new layer and call it shadow. Alright, so, awesome. And then drag shadow underneath the model copy. Right, so that's an empty layer, now called shadow, underneath the model copy. So that way our shadow is going to be underneath this layer right here. Okay. Now, with the shadow layer selected, I want you to pick Select and Mask. So you go up to Select, you pick Select and Mask. We go back to this window, and I want you to look at it using the On Black. So you can hit the letter A. And that way you see that it is, you're looking at it this way, seeing the black underneath. You can change the opacity if you wish. Okay. And I'll go back to 50. Awesome. Now, under Shift Edge, I'm going to get you to actually type in plus 36. Now, I got to admit, when I make changes on this, I go back and forth. I really don't see a whole lot of change. But the book asks you to do that, so I'm going to say, well, why not? Sure. Okay. Um, in the output selection, output 2, make sure it says selection right here. And we're now going to say, okay, boom. So I guess it's changed a little bit. Uh, all right. Next, we're going to fill this up with black. So go up to Edit and pick Fill and choose Black. Okay, boom. It's filled that, uh, that whole thing with black right there. Great. And we're going to change the opacity to 30%. You can use the slider here if you want, or just type in 30, either one. Totally fine. Awesome. All right, so we deselect what we have now. I go Command D. There it is. Or you can go to Select and say Deselect. Great. So now we're going to rotate this shadow. Make sure that you are in the shadow layer. Uh, you can go Edit, Transform, Rotate. I go Command-T. Alright, and rotate this guy. If you hover your mouse, see how it changes to that little icon right there? Okay, and grab it, and you can just rotate it around. Okay, put it to about negative 15. And if you're not too sure, you can go right on up here, and you can type in negative 15. Boom. All right. So, now we're going to move it over as well. We're going to shift the shadow to the left. I'm going to pull this guy over here, 
And in actual fact, uh, what I want you to do, I don't want you to go up or down. I just want you to go straight left, which means that all you're going to do is you're going to put 545 here. Right? And the top is 603.5 for me at the moment, which is interesting. Okay. And I think that looks good. So you can hit enter or hit the check mark. Great. So there we go. We now have this shadow. And I want you to uh, save your work so far. And um, your magazine cover is ready to go for lesson seven. Thanks very much.